Hi, thanks again for joining me. I'll quickly whiz through the colours before I start. We've got Ultramarine, Cad Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizarine Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red, using the Large Run Ransom Aiken 15x11 Fabriana. So, first thing off, I'm going to grab the big egg brush and just put some water all the way out. This will stop the paper from doing all crinkly and soften up a lot of the background. So, starting off with a little bit of a little bit of water, yeah, not too much. I'm going to water that down a little bit, I think. Get that down to the bottom. I'm going to clean the brush. I'm going to go ultramarine and brush some of that into the sky area. And it's about there, I think. And then I'm going to take a bit of Lizarine Crimson, a bit of Payne's Grey, and just a few little clouds here and there. And I'm going to give that a quick dry. Have to be bones on, just to stop those clouds from coming too far down the paper. Right now, distant tree, so I'm going to go into the same colours I've just used a bit of each raw sienna, lizarine, Payne's grey, ultramarine, and come quite low down. I'm going to go something like that, and these are the furthest trees. Now, there's A lot of snow on the floor here, so I'm just doing hit and miss. And where I'm missing is where the snow is. So I'm just using the corner of the brush. Just to do a few little trees. I might give into a bit of red there actually, just really change it up a bit. Also scraping a few little trunks and things. I'm going to get that a little bit dark so I've got into a bit of blue. And what I'm going to do there is just scrape out a little cabin. Come back to that in a bit. So clean the brush. I want to get back to a light colour, so clean the brush. Let's get back to some raw sienna. Nice light colour. I'm just pushing that up right up to the bottom of the cabin. I'm introducing a little bit of Bit of an evergreen up there. The pine's grey, a bit dark in it. And a big tree trunk up there. Pop that in. And then I'll do what I'm happy with, I'll just paint straight over. I want to get back to some lighter colours, so clean the brush. Bit of light red, bit of raw sienna. Same again. Right then, so that's that side. Let's move back over to this left. So I'm going back into this. These distant ones, these are a little bit closer now. See how it's gone on stronger? Pop some of that in there. A few trees and trunks. Let's 
get a bit of rigor work in there as well, I think. I'm doing plenty of water, a bit of brown, a bit of blue, a bit of green. And it's just popping something growing there. Flicking up, just holding this brush right at the end and just flicking it up. It's going down there. Okay, I'm just going to stop that before it gets too mad. What I'll do, clean the brush back to some lighter colour. Just a bit of raw seal, just a touch of the pines of grey. Bit of Raw sienna. Just pop some of that down there like that. Right now we've got some big trees now on the left hand side. So a bit of burnt umber, not burnt umber, ultramarine. Bit of cat yellow. We're painting over a fair bit of that. Like it's done. Let's get a tree trunk in there. I'm doing brown, blue, nice and dark. Just gonna the rigger brush into those two colours again quite dark and I'm just in these lighter areas just going to pop a few little twigs and branches one being through there like that just where I go show up the best a bit more paint a bit more water Quite a dry brush now. Let's just make sure this paper's flat against this board. Just pull it flat against the easel and then just use my clips there to refix it. It's nice and straightforward way of doing it. I'm just going to do a touch of burnt on badge, a touch of light red, a bit of ultramarine. Just thinking of path coming up right over there, just something like that. Stick a roof on that build and that little building. I'm gonna go red, bit of red, bit of brown, bit of blue. Let's see what that looks like. Little chimney on the top. little windows and stick a door down there. Right, 
to let it dry. shadows in <clears throat> so for the shadow colours I'm going to take a bit of bit of blue bit of a lizardy bit of Payne's grey bit of burnt umber not too much water right then so Got some shadows coming straight across there like that. And down in there. Manning. I'm switching to the smallest brush I've got and I'm taking a bit of red um, where shall I put him? somewhere I'm putting him up there walking off into the distance just quite small this time switch to the blue Quite dark tone down there, it's hard to. I didn't plan it very well. Let's pop his little dog down there. Just about to see him. Call that one finished, I think. I'm just going to stick my name down there and call that one done. So let's see what it looks like with the main sun. So here's the finished paint in the main. So if we go and have a closer look at it, starting off with the sky. Very, very simple sky, just a little, very light wash of raw sienna, uh, slightly stronger ultramarine. <clears throat> didn't come all the way down so I wanted to preserve a lot of white because I wanted to be a snow on the ground and then just to make it slightly more interesting a little bit of grey cloud in there which was Payne's going lizard in crimson then 
same colours go into these distant trees as well, and then some of them added a bit more sort of light red, a uh, little bit of green there as well, just to vary it all the way along. Scraped out the little house. Um, just put the roof in, you can see just a couple of dots for the windows and then a door. Um, got our path, very loosely put in, but sweeping it through into the foreground area here. Now we've got our big tree here on, on the left hand side, put it nice and dark just to get a nice sense of, uh, sort of shadowy areas. And one thing that this snow does give us, because it's nice and white, great opportunity for shadows and you can see just swept the shadow straight across, cut straight across the path, try to create plenty of light and drama. Um, a few more shadowy areas there, went over some of those distant trees as well and then a few little shadows scattered amongst all this, the, the sort of blanket snow there on the ground. And then you can see our little man and his dog. Don't forget their shadows as well. And our little bird there up in the sky. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember you can catch me over on Patreon if you want to watch more videos. You'll see the link down in the description. Um, so until then, thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.